Ever since I grew up, I've always been interested in competitive games, whether that be something along the lines of uh, World of Warcraft uh, Arena or Rated Battlegrounds or Soldier of Fortune 2 from way back in the day, if anybody remembers that game. Uh, you know, just games that require you to to be on a leaderboard of some sorts. And uh, a game that I that I play now that I would say, you know, attributes this competitive nature and is pretty much the only reason I play this game is because of the, the competitiveness is League of Legends, right? So League of Legends is a very, uh, very popular game uh, across the whole entire world, actually. And, and the only reason me and my friends play it is to just go up in rank. Like, it's, it is a fun game, but I feel that if they didn't have a ranking system, nobody would play it. And so, it's, it's similar like this with other games as well. Like, I mean, it, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's the funnest game of all time. Uh, but, but the trap I'm talking about is, when it, when it comes to these type of games... It, it kind of sucks the fun out of it, and people get too tilted, they rage, they stress out, they they don't really have fun because of all the other, you know, the competitive nature of the game, the the stress involved, the the fact that, like, League of Legends, the way it works is, if I play a game and I win, I get 30 points. If I lose, I might lose 15 to 25 points depending on how high your rating is and so you you're almost thinking like man i just like wasted the past 30 to 50 minutes of my life because some of the games can go on for up to 45 50 minutes uh and so so like you're you're like oh my gosh i just lost two games in a row so i just lost like an hour and a half of my life you know potentially i mean it could go for 15 minutes and game could be over but what I'm getting at here is that these games, nobody, like when you, when you talk to your friends, they care about, you know, like, oh, well, I'm gold and you're silver and I'm a higher rated or whatever. Like we all have this competitive nature in us and some more than others, right? But, but in the end of the day, you're going to realize one day that it doesn't even matter. You're not a professional gamer. Your friends are not a professional gamer. They don't get paid to play these games. And and so that's the thing. It's like it doesn't even matter how good you are at some of these games. If, if you're a challenger player, like you're the top 0.1% of the player base that plays these games, you better be getting paid to play. Because otherwise, I mean, you've sunk so much time and effort and everything into this. and And you're getting nothing out of it except for... I mean, it's fun. Like I said, you know, it's different. I, I have a good time, but I wouldn't play the game by myself. I would only play it with my friends. And this is for League of Legends. I have played it by myself before, but now there's other games I'd rather play by myself. Uh, I need another another game would be like World of Warcraft Arena. I'm not really interested in playing World of Warcraft Arena by myself, but it is so fun and competitive when you play with friends. But I only play because I think it, I honestly think it's way more fun than League of Legends. But you know, it requires people in this day and age. I mean, when you're when you're around my age, it's it's kind of hard for everybody you know and that wants to play the same game. Uh, it's kind of hard for us to all get on at the same time. So it, it's just, it makes it difficult because, you know, most people don't want to look for a, a pug or a pickup player, you know, in the lobby to, to play competitive uh, World of Warcraft, which requires, you know, a lot of synergy and, you know, it takes, it takes a little bit to get used to, you know, and to be cohesive as a team. And, and it's similar with League of Legends. But uh, I just wanted to wanted to talk about competitive games and the the nature they bring, or the you know the nature of competitive games because I just feel like they're 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 fun and they have their place, but 
one day you'll realize that just because you're platinum and your friend is silver doesn't mean that, you know, like that, that doesn't mean anything really. It just means that you've played the game more, you know, and you have some more experience under your belt and your friend doesn't care. And that's probably, you know, what we should all be thinking is, you know, maybe I put the effort in and that's why I'm a little higher ranked and I put the time in. And so it makes sense. But at the end of the day, you're going to have nothing from it because it, it doesn't really matter. Nobody cares that you're platinum in League of Legends or if you're silver in League of Legends. Really, nobody cares. It's just the, you know, it's it's funny because we all put this like emphasis on it in the gaming world. I saw somebody posting on the the uh, World of Warcraft Arena World Championships. They're they're trolling in chat on Twitch and they're they're posting like, please don't type anything in chat unless you're above this certain rating. And I think it's just a complete troll, but it's just funny that like that's that's what people that's what people do is like they they, they care about how high you're rated, uh, you know, in a video game. And like I said, unless unless you're getting paid to play uh, and be good, uh, you don't have to necessarily get paid to play and be good. You could be funny. You could make other kind of co- other kinds of content. But it's just it's just funny over the years how I've given so much attention and I've cared so much about being competitive and and doing better than other players. But you realize it just doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because your life is way more than this video game. And that video game is only going to be cool for so long. And then there's going to be another video game. And now you're going to be playing that other video game. And you're not going to care. You're not going to care about you were platinum seven years ago on League of Legends. And now you're playing some other way better game or much more new game, you know, that you actually care about right now. So it's just, it's funny because we're just on this cycle, like the, these hamsters going from one competitive game to another. And uh, the point of the story is just, you know, try and have a good time, try and have more fun and just relax and find some games. Like it's okay to play competitive games, but play some games that are, that are fun, relaxing, enjoyable. You don't have to be competitive. And anyways, that's, that's it for my rant today. Um, if you guys enjoy this content, please make sure to like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and make sure to subscribe if you want to see future content like this.